Good evening, everybody. We wanted to bring you an update here on Hurricane Michael that's strengthening and is going to be moving into the Gulf and affecting much of the Southeast. I'm meteorologist Brian Ivey alongside Mark Spencer. It's really intensifying fast. Yeah, it is intensifying pretty quick. It's now a Category 1 hurricane and it is expected to become a major Category 3 hurricane by Tuesday or Tuesday night. So very, very quick as this moves off to the north uh, towards Florida and parts of the southeastern United States. Let's take a look at it right now here. Here it is, Hurricane Michael down here. Uh, Cuba is right here, so it's just grazing the western edge of Cuba right now. Winds of 80 miles per hour, gusts to around 90. Pressure is beginning to fall rather quick at 978 millibars. Moving off to the north-northwest at around 9 miles an hour, the, the movement will become more northerly here within the next 12 to 24 hours. You can kind of see the track here as well. And uh, Brian, we'll actually take a look at the uh, track as it uh, goes in to the southeast through the yeah, weekend. Yeah, it's pretty potent strengthening, absolutely. And you can see there's some dry air over here and well up into the United States and on the other side as well. And that's really from some high pressure. And that's going to allow for a major lack of wind shear, which hurricanes absolutely love and they thrive off of it and strengthen fast. That is a lack of any kind of change of wind speed or wind direction as you increase height in the atmosphere. So you'll notice here, this is going to quickly become a Category 3 by tomorrow and then move into the southeast. This is going to be your parallel of very heavy rain, potential major flooding with this system coming up. Let's look at that rainfall graphic. That's Let's impressive. Let's look at the rainfall graphic. So this is from uh, the Weather Prediction Center from NOAA and it's kind of their take on how much rain they think is going to fall. This goes through Saturday afternoon. Look at all that moisture coming out of the Gulf into uh, Pensacola Beach and down into um, the southern half of Georgia. Lots of rain. How about 10, 11, 12 inches of rain? But it's not the flooding that's the big killer. It's the storm surge. And storm surge right now, right along the uh, panhandle of Florida, looks to be on the order of 6 to 10 feet at the moment. So the storm surge plus the rain later on is really going to create for some major, major flooding issues. And how about the winds, Brian? Yeah, we're talking about a triple threat of a system, a little bit of everything, as this does look to make landfall as a Category 3, a major hurricane. So you can see those hurricane strength winds going up into the Florida panhandle and northwest portions of Florida up across portions of Georgia, maybe into the Carolinas as well. And then tropical storm winds are going to expand outwards a little bit more than that. So you can kind of see that cone going through the southeast. It's definitely going to be major impacts for coastal areas of Florida uh, up across portions of the southeast with a lot of rain and wind. And this could be a very uh, potential storm that cause a lot of significant impacts. It certainly could cause a lot of uh damaging impacts across the southeast so uh, it is october there's still about another three three and a half weeks of hurricane season left so this is not out of the ordinary or anything like that however if you are anywhere along the gulf coast from uh, right, anywhere from mississippi all the way down through florida now's the time to really get prepared if you're anywhere near where this uh wind cone is if you're anywhere in the northern panhandle now's the time to really get prepared start packing up whatever belongings you may need and start planning on a place to evacuate to you're not going to have tons of time to get out of here it is moving uh, fairly quickly to north nine to ten miles per hour that motion is expected to at least remain that if not pick up a little bit so uh, by late week this is having impacts on Florida so you don't have a lot of time so make your preparations right now to pack up and leave don't try to hang out with this one guys this could be nasty a category 3 storm is absolutely nothing to um, really just yeah you don't want to downplay at. something like that at all it. and this is going to be a significant rainmaker well up into the mid-atlantic and also into the northeast where you've seen a lot of rain over the last few weeks and few yes. months in general so Lots this could be a very memorable system for 2018 standards all across the eastern portion of the country absolutely right and if you are in parts of alabama and georgia well inland from the coast do be prepared for that flooding too so we do have that to deal with lots of rain and that is going to cause flooding in those areas too we're going to do our very best to keep you updated on all the latest with hurricane michael make sure you check out our facebook page twitter feed and instagram for the latest updates thanks guys